Bees are an important part of our environment. Not only do they pollinate the food we need to survive, but they also pollinate trees and plants that provide habitats for different wildlife. In fact, around 80% of all flowering plants are specialized for pollination by animals. As bees are prime pollinators, we'd lose lots of plants and foods without them. What is pollination? It's the pollination and creation of life that helps keep our ecosystems balanced and in check. When bees land on a flower, their legs and bodies pick up pollen. When they land on the next flower, they spread the pollen. This helps the flowers to make seeds and new flowers. This is called pollination. It's important for growing many of the fruits and vegetables that we eat. Many farmers will bring bees to their farms to help with pollination. How do bees make honey? Honey is a natural product that we use in health, beauty, and foods. The bees start by venturing out of their hives to collect pollen from the flowers all around us in the spring and summer. These flowers that a honeybee visits must contain nectar. They suck up the nectar using their tongue, which is hollow like a straw. Nectar is like sugar water, and this is what bees like to collect and take home to their hive of workers. Their bodies can then process the nectar to turn it into different kinds of sugar that is called glucose and fructose. The honeybee then moves this watery honey mix from its tummy into its mouth and then into the honeycombs of the hive. Once back in the hive, they cool and thicken the nectar mix with their wings. At this stage, the liquid now finally looks a little more like honey that can be stored in the honeycombs with wax. What is the structure of a honeybee's habitat? A beehive is a set of combs. Each comb has two layers of six-sided cells made from the worker bee's wax. These cells are used to store food like honey and nectar. Bees are insects. They live everywhere in the world except Antarctica. There are more than 20,000 types of bees. Honeybees live in most parts of the world. They live in groups called colonies. Within a colony, honeybees have different roles. Drones. These are male honeybees. Unlike other types of honeybee, they do not have stingers. They live for a few weeks and their job is to fertilize the queen's eggs. Workers. These bees are female. They do all the work, and these are the bees we usually see. They live for between six weeks and several months. They'll collect nectar from flowers, build and protect the nest, clean as well as other roles. The queen. This bee lays the eggs for future generations of bees. Most colonies have one bee. When the queen dies, a new one is chosen and fed a special food called royal jelly by the worker bees. Honeybees are small. The workers are only about half an inch long. Bumblebees are larger than honeybees. They are about one inch long. Bumblebees live in nests. These nests are often in the ground. They also live around patios, decks, and attics. Carpenter bees. Carpenter bees get their name from their habit. They work with wood. However, they don't build things from wood. Instead, they drill holes into it to make their homes. Carpenter bees like to live alone. They do not live in colonies or hives. Why is it important for us to protect bees? 
Remember, we need pollinators. Although small, bees have an enormous impact on food chains and agriculture all over the world. If bees were to go extinct, many plants and other animals would also disappear due to the vital role that bees have in pollination. This would disrupt many ecosystems and cause a massive imbalance in the natural world. Next time you are visited by a flying insect friend in your home, be sure to guide them to the nearest exit gently. Thanks for joining us! For more information and resources related to bees, head to twinkle.com.